Welcome to this week's issue of Play Print 21, the weekly TV news bulletin by print21.com.au, the people who know print. My name is Wayne Robinson. We're in a news agent this week because the big stories in print in Australia here are to do with publishing. Uh, firstly, Norsky Skog is going to be closing its Albury Mill, uh, 38 years old mill, 185 people are going to lose the job. Uh, that mill produces newsprint, 265,000 tonnes a year. And anyone who's been on a train or a bus commuting recently in the last year, two, three, will know virtually no one is reading newspapers anymore in that big commuter market, at least. Everyone's on the smartphone. Uh, and so that uh, obviously has downstream consequences or upstream consequences. One of those is the closure of the North Sea Skog Mill. Uh, North Sea Skog has two other mills, one in Tasmania and one in New Zealand, but they're much smaller. They'll continue to supply newsprint. Uh, Tim Woods of Industry Edge uh, tells us that uh, North Sea Skog did try to export from uh, Albury, uh, but in fact was ended up losing money on every shipment. So um, the mill there will be now bought by Visi, uh, the giant paperboard company, packaging company, and they will convert it, or they're looking at converting it into a paperboard uh, mill. mill. Uh, they paid $85 million for it. Um, in a magazine front, uh, the big news there is that of the two big magazines, Bauer, which has 45% of the market, Pacific Magazines has about 32%, uh, Pacific is uh, in talks with Bauer because Pacific is owned by Seven, uh, which is, uh, has a new CEO, James Warburton, uh, former CEO, in fact, of APN before it was bought, for, bought by JC Deco, the big outdoor people. Uh, James Warburton is looking to offload it, apparently, offload Pacific magazines or offload anything that will save money. Uh, and they'll bring money in because uh, the company just announced a $444 million loss on sales of $1.5 billion. Uh, so if Pacific magazines is bought by Bauer, uh, that may have big imp uh, repercussions in the printing industry because at the moment Bauer is printed by Ovato, um, uh, Pacific Magazine is printed by Ive, uh, and if uh, Bauer owns both of them, well, they could either uh, throw in the lot with Ovato, which would be tr tough news, which would blow a hole in Ive's production schedule, or go the other way, of course, uh, or more likely, probably, uh, actually keep both on because otherwise they cut down their options. Uh, and, uh, and they cut out the competition, of course. So very interesting to see how all that pans out. Um, also in the uh, uh, world of uh, outdoor print, we mentioned reference JC to Co, APN earlier, uh, this quarter, for the first quarter in seven years, and only the third quarter in the past 20 years, uh, the outdoor figures, outdoor spend on outdoor media dipped, down by 0.9%. Um, Charmaine Moldrich, CEO of, of uh, OMA, tells me it's a blip. Uh, let's hope it is, uh, but that's the first time it's gone down in seven years. Uh, first, um, the other two periods before that were at the uh, following the GFC. But print, uh, the figures are actually even worse because digital side, digital share of outdoor is now 55% down from 40, down from uh, up from 50% before. Um, one other big story from overseas this week, uh, which would be the world's biggest printer, Quad Graphics. Quad Graphics has just been fined $10 million on bribery and corruption charges for its dealings with its businesses in Peru and China and selling to Cuba through a Peruvian subsidiary. But with sales of $4 billion, many see it just as a slap on the wrist. Uh, one magazine that uh, won't be affected by the uh, Bauer and PCP deal, you know, Pacific uh, Magazine deal, is of course Print21, uh, the country's biggest, brightest and best uh, print trade media, out this week, arriving on your desks, packed full of features as normal. Always enjoy your feedback, uh, look, look out for it. This is me, Wayne Robinson, signing off for another issue of Play Print21.